economist Vicky Price. Vicky, thank you very much for joining us. So the German Chancellor then saying that this is a big problem for Germany. Now, how, in the grand scheme of things, do you think this is Germany's big problem? I think a, the ageing population is a big, big issue for everyone. It's not just really for Germany, but uh, we've seen it happening in Japan. And we're seeing concerns about that in very many parts of Europe right now. Not in the UK, where population is still going up, uh, but in many other places where there is going to be an issue of skills being in short supply in the future and therefore growth suffering. In addition, of course, you've got the issue of the welfare bill, pensions, who's going to pay for those in the future. Um, but, of course, it, what we heard today is not just a question of economics. It's also a question of security in the country. And I think one of the motivations for it, increasing, if you like, the types of controls for people coming in in Germany uh, is because there, there is quite considerable worry in Germany, in particular in terms of integrating people coming in from outside Europe, as has been the case recently in very, very large Yes, yeah, certainly. Um, in terms of policies, though, what do you think that the German government could do to mitigate the <laughs> impact of this ageing population? Well, the first thing one does, of course, generally, is increasing the age of uh, pensionable um, age, well, in the sense that <laughs> you retire a little bit later. Yeah. I mean, what this means is that you continue to use your skills, assuming, of course, companies want you. Because what you do find very often is that uh, although people are willing to work at the later age, the reality is that firms are being quite conservative in this respect and, uh, and are tending to want to hire lots of younger people instead. So, but still, nevertheless, if you do that, if you extend the age with which you retire, you can certainly ensure, uh, with the right policies, encouragement to employ more old people in, in business, um, that, and also, uh, of course, you know, sort of ensuring that the skills are kept up to date this is very, very important right now with the uh, AI and so on, that people who are not used to using any of those skills in the past get trained to move into the new economy. So mm. you have to do that. And, and I think that, that, of course, helps up to a point. But I'm afraid at the end, you do need to have more younger people coming in and therefore migration is going to be significant. And that is exactly what Chancellor Schultz has been talking about, saying that we do need migration, but migration coming in the right way and the right sectors. Absolutely. Vicky, though, is it concerning that Germany has always been this economic powerhouse in Europe, hasn't it? So if Germany is struggling, is that a sign that the rest of the Europe and the world could be suffering too? It's hugely concerning. And one of the problems, of course, is that Germany itself is in recession. At least it was in recession in the last quarter. And what you're seeing right now is uh, the latest indicators, the IFO Institute index, which looks at business sentiment, for example, has been falling for the last four months. And that's not good news. And the real worry is that, indeed, if Germany goes into a big slowdown or at least prolonged slowdown, it's bound to bring other countries with it. So far, of course, a number of countries have done reasonably well, mainly because the summer has been good, a lot of tourism, quite a lot of the southern European countries are doing well. If you look at uh, it's Spain in particular, but also Greece, for example, um, what you're seeing is that there is big variability in terms of growth rates, but they're not very substantial, they're not very strong. And if Germany isn't doing well, then I think the rest suffers too. Okay, Vicky Price, economist, thank you very much for your views. Thank you.